Hello everyone, welcome back to Street Fighter V. It's been a while, it's been a while. Honestly, I have been playing this game pretty consistently, it wasn't about that, that's not why this series has been absent, it's just... I was kind of stuck uh, for a little while. I was kind of stuck, kind of uh, bouncing between Super Silver and Ultra Silver and then back to Super Silver, you know. So I was like, you know what? Let me just wait until I make actual meaningful progress, which I do in this episode because, well, if you read the title, uh, I actually made it to gold, which is kind of crazy. I know gold is not much, but for me, who, you know, I still consider myself to be a complete Street Fighter V noob, uh, the fact that I made it to gold is kind of baffling and honestly, I'm kind of hyped because gold is like where I think the fun starts in terms of like being able to meet more experienced players and you know you just have to level up there hopefully. Anyways speaking of uh, this is still the part of the well the timeline where I was making my way up to gold back to ultra silver because I dropped down facing this Zangief. Uh, Zangief is an interesting character. I think he is. Well, his matchup with Birdie is probably in Birdie's favor, I would say. Uh, I didn't do a good job demonstrating it there, but the can and the banana really, really like shuts Zangief down. So you gotta rely on that. Plus, Birdie does have better mobility. The thing that doesn't happen, or the thing where Birdie struggles, is of course the fact that he has pretty bad defenses so once a character like Zangief can get in it's it's very difficult to escape uh, that's why I'm playing like a bitch you know I'm not afraid to say it I play the Zangief matches like a bitch uh, with this character because that's what you gotta do like it's unfortunate but then again it's the nature of the game you just kinda had to run away from this character because he is terrifying you know when he, once he gets going so yeah, there, I don't know why he didn't go for the air speedy, maybe he just didn't see it. I thought, you know what, let's cash out, I'm going to get a significant life lead, which because Zangief has very high HP, it doesn't even matter that much, but you know, when you can take a life lead, take the life lead, I say. As you can see, a couple of bad guesses and we are almost back to equal, that's because I think Zangief got the extra 25 HP with the Season 5 patch. Birdie, as far as I know, did not. Might be incorrect, but I, I, I'm fairly sure that Birdie did not. Speaking of Season 5, there has been another patch recently. Uh, just came out, I think yesterday. Mainly a net code fix, but... There were a couple of character changes. I think even Birdie got some boosts or like buffs to his V trigger too. I mean V skill too. V skill too, which I still don't use because. Well, I don't know. Actually, maybe I should give it a shot. Uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll check it out uh, in casual matches. How it is? I'm talking about the bubble gum. So I don't know. But this is of course all pre-patch. Uh, yeah, in terms of netcode improvements, again, Capcom have supposedly made some improvements. I'm noticing it more now. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, you'll see a match later, because this is, again, this match is from, like, last weekend. Uh, but you'll see in some of these matches going forward, I think there is an effect. Gotta take that damage with the chain, gotta take the command grab, and he is stunned. And I do something really stupid here. Oh no, no, this is not where I do it. I do something really stupid later on with one of the matches, but... That doesn't matter, we'll get there when we get there. So yeah, again, th this guy with his Zangief... Um, I tried my best, managed to keep him out. It's a struggle, man. You know, I've messed around with Zangief before, and... He, he, unfortunately, he is a struggle, which is a shame because he's such a fun character, uh, but it's not easy to play him. It is definitely not easy. 
I would say he's one of the harder characters to like play successfully. You know, aside from like the Menat and Doll Sims and like those really technical characters. With Zangief you just gotta have like godlike patience and uh, just like know how to get in. And that's not easy. That's not easy. I kind of went crazy there. Um, whatever. Hey, it worked, didn't it? It worked. Anyways, moving on to our next exhibition match. Here we have a gill. And the reason I included this match is because this gill was actually pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Uh, I think I mentioned this in the previous episode as well. Gills have definitely definitely dropped off a little bit. You know, the initial hype died around the character, which happens with all of the characters, you know. People who just pick them up as a fad move on, while people who pick them as mains just stick with them, you know, but there's less. I'm definitely noticing Seth disappearing as well. Uh, but yeah, this, this guy was actually pretty good. He's doing the same thing I was doing to that Zangief earlier, which is just keep out. Uh, because Birdie is not invulnerable to that. Even though he has better tools to deal with keep out, uh, he's not he's not invulnerable. Doing them good old pyrokinesis. -es. Pyrokinesis. I don't even know what the fuck the plural of that is. That hurts so good. I love them combos. The curtain don't fall, bitch. You get chained. This is kind of a funny matchup, you know, when you think about it. Like a fucking birdie. Who's just like... Farting and pissing and eating his way through the fight versus Gil. Who's like... He's like mega powerful, isn't he? He's like... Pretty much a godlike being. But let's not get into the lore, you know. Fighting game lore is always messed up because you have characters who are like not even in the same dimensions power wise and they go against each other like you know Striker from MK Perfect example, he's just a cop God that is a cool super That is a cool super and that's why this matchup doesn't make sense because of that super he just like He's just like shot up a fucking nuclear explosion and yeah birdie just gets up man i love how that works every single time nobody's immune to the chain and he made a mistake there you know like you gotta be careful doing a move like that with a character that has an ex command grab because that's gonna get punished so yeah that is a fun again like this guy this guy was good i liked i enjoyed his gill um, he's a fun character to play. I actually like Gil as a character. Not, not personally my style, but he's cool. It's weird that he's he basically has the exact same Ur moves as Urian, but he's not a charge character. You'd think he'd be prime charge character material, or at least have some charge moves, but nah. In his little panties. It makes sense. I mean, it's a reference to like Greek. Um, I think like it's a reference to Greek like wrestlers, right? The way they're dressed. Him and Urian. Or like Greek gods. I have no idea. So yeah, just smacking each other. I hate that move. There is that move that flying knee has like a 100% hit rate on me. And I got iced. And of course the voice actor, Liam O'Brien. Fantastic as Gil. He just has like so much... It's the same thing, you know, when like War from Darksiders, you know. He has like... Punch to that dialogue and... You know, that's why Gil is cool. Anyways, nobody is immune to Birdie in the corner. So I'm just like battering him with my normals. That's really the thing with uh, Birdie, you know. You just you gotta use them normals. 
Man, I have a very low hit rate on my bullhorns. I'm not good at predicting opponents. When I look at someone like... What's the dude's name? Trashbox. He has like... A 100... Fuck, I screwed the punish up. He still got hit, but I screwed the punish up so badly. Uh, it's all good though. It's all good though. So again, like Trashbox, he has like a 90% hit rate with that. And me... I'm not quite there. I'm not quite there, but working on it. Pyrokinesis. It's so cool. Maybe I should pick up this character just a little bit. I messed. I mean, I made a video when I tried him out, but maybe, maybe, just maybe. I mean, again, I am playing. Again, cashing out. You gotta cash out. I've been playing this game pretty consistently, um, but the ranked mainly. Of course, I'm recording this, and this is going to be a shorter episode again because I less I had less interesting matches from the week. I should be streaming today, but it's just been crazy, man. You know, like with my workplace and Corona is just you know. Going crazy, everybody is trying to work out how to continue business. Because, you know, I, wor I work in retail, so we cannot close. We're not, like, we're, like, essential. So everybody is trying to, like, tweak every single process and routine and whatever, you know, so that we can continue operating and people stay relatively safe. So it's just been kind of crazy. Um... Last week was strangely quiet, uh, but now it's like it's like really picking up. Not the virus itself, because you know that's just like it is what it is. Uh, the numbers and all that can't really do much about that. But in terms of work, that's why that's why there's been no streams. Anyways, enough about that. You know, I'm trying to entertain here. Uh, that's why I tend to not talk about uh, shit like that, you know. Trying to... Fuck, this is gonna sound really cheesy, but trying to spread that positivity. Which is not really true, but you know, like, you know what I mean. Anyways, I am beating the shit out of this Colleen. Which I specifically included this match, even though the connection itself was horrible. And this did happen after the network patch. So I'm looking at you, Capcom, with your fucking bullshit ass saying we changed the netcode but we didn't um but yeah i decided to still include this match because you see colleen so rarely so rarely she's a cool character but honestly this is a character i like really really cannot make any judgment on i i, I still don't know is she good is she bad uh like like is she mediocre I have no idea. I have no idea because people do well with her, but I've tried her and she, to me, she seems really weak, but this guy, this guy's apparently making it work somehow, but I just jabbed him out of whatever he had planned. I mean, part of this was the, the connection, but yeah, I, I really don't know about Colleen. She's a weird character, I'd say. A very unique playstyle. Uh, a cool playstyle, but these are the types of characters that are difficult to place. That fucking counter I hate so much. He got hit by that. Speaking of getting hit by that, well, you know, we'll we'll talk about that later. I should have gone for the can. I think I was gonna go for the can, but I forgot the input. Yeah, yeah that's that's actually fairly strong. She can set up a lot of things, but the thing about it that I found with her when I way back when I tried her out is that she has difficulties with opening people up. Gotta cash out. This is why I like V Trigger One. I didn't really do it here, but you can like go so ham with it, which is kind of fun because isn't that the type of character Birdie is? going ham I think so so anyways I decided to include that match just as kind of like a little a little 
interlude here because Colleen, yeah, just we found the Colleen in the wild. What is a little bit more common in the wild, unfortunately, is this guy, M. Bison. This character. This character is an online monster and I hate fighting him. That move, and it's, it's like fucking Capcom knows that shit because they gave him a safe cross up teleport, which is absolutely insane. And of course, the scissor kicks, which are supposed to be punishable, but very difficult to punish online. Hence the reason I'm getting hit or pressured by about 50 of them on the screen right in front of you. Oh man, this is like. The thing is. It's what people bring up all the time. It's like, when the hell are you supposed to push buttons against this character? And here, watch this. This is absolutely crazy. Look, he teleported through my medium punch. And then he teleported through my down heavy. I was, I was tilted. I was like, fuck, I can already see what's going to happen. I can already see I'm going to get ass blasted by this bison. Bison? Bison is the the French cousin of Bison, but then, then I discovered that this fool does not know what to do against this. This fool hella didn't know what to do against medium punch into the light uh, jump command grab. Highlighting the importance of learning your matchups, kids. Um, yeah, yeah. Go into the lab against all characters because you know birdie is rare, but you never know one, where one might pop up, and that one might be me, who is going to exploit the fact that you have no fucking clue what to do. I don't know. It's like that. You know, people say that the more you move up in the rankings, the more you have to stop like relying on gimmicks. Oh, this is where I make that stupid move. I should have used ex. And I would have killed. It does. It didn't matter, but still stupid. Uh, you know, you like cannot rely on gimmicks. But then again, if it works, and if it's like a lack of matchup knowledge on the opponent side, I'm like, let's exploit that. I am going to hella exploit that because yeah, this is the thing. Like neutral jump. If you're watching this, just neutral jump next time around. Uh, that's the best way to counter that unless birdie has super because then it's but you know that's a different situation but yeah what I was saying earlier you know judging by that fucking teleport move Capcom on some level has to know that this character is just like a massive troll online sure as hell feels like it that, that they know Cash out with the damage. I think Bison still has the highest ranked or highest number of like high ranks. There was like somebody did some statistics of the breakdowns. Appar like Fung and Dalsim. Oh shit. My dual shock. I didn't even see that. I mean this is like post recorded, but still, you know, I I left it out as I was recording. But yeah, like I think Bison is still the most popular character on the higher ranks. So, but w back to what I was gonna say, the tactic that I changed, aside from the fact that I exploited the lack of knowledge with the command grab, is that I just didn't let this guy breathe. You know, Bison... <coughs> God, I'm losing my voice. Bison is not the best on... Not the best? What the hell was that? Not the best defense-wise, so you can like really, really uh, like pressure him. At least that's what the impression was that I got. And with that command grab, he's not dead. However, that was really obvious. Yeah, that concludes this episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Gold rank. We'll continue with this next time.